Hello everybody, how you all doing today? And welcome to the Evil Within 2. Now this has been a game I have anticipated and been wanting to play and wait for for a very long time. And now with this game is here, we can finally do a Let's Play on this game. Now, I tried to do a Let's Play of it previously, not too long ago. One of the reasons why it took a while for this game to be finally uploaded is because my Elgato was being a little weird. Uh, I had to fix some things up with the software a little bit. But now the things are a little bit, just a little bit. Now we can finally move on to the game itself. Taking nice data with the within two. Most likely, I'm going to use a new game. Come on. We're going to do a complete new game, guys. We're going to do survival. Well, during Evil Within the first game, we did casual, and I don't think that's what we want to play, so we're going to step up a little bit. We're going to go at least survival. Enables auto aim because my aiming for the last game sucked. But with this, this should be give us an easier chance to aim at certain enemies a little bit easier. Home engulfed in flames, tragic fire. Okay. Oh, dude. Oh, wow. Chapter one, no. Into the Flames. No, no, this is not happening. Sebastian sounds a lot different from the previous game. I wonder if this is gonna be a different voice actor than pr previously pr prior before the, before the last game. Oh God, Lily. Oh God! Come on, come on! We gotta save Lily. Damn it! Get out of here, Winter Screen Door. Don't worry, Lily. We're coming. Where are you? Oh God! Is she Oh shit! Oh, this one's dead, pretty much. Happen. That's a that's a that's actually a very good question. How did this house on fire happen and begin in the first place? No, no. <coughs> I'm coming, We're coming, Lily. Lily. Oh, he said that too. I'm here, Lily. I'm here. Oops. Oh, there's a red crotch in here. You know that. Where'd you go? Come on out. Lily, where are you? I'm here. Dad's here. You weren't here for me, Dad. Lily. There you are, Lily. Oh, God. What the fuck? Oh God. That's like the stuff of nightmares right there, bro. Give me a second, just keep watching guys. I'm just gonna take care of something real quick. Hello, what? Sebastian. It's been a long time. Three years. I've been trying to track you down for three years. And you thought you'd find me at the bottom of an empty bottle. Oh, God. 
And why are you here now, damn it? You didn't find me because they didn't want you to. Calm down, Sebastian. You knew what was gonna happen in that hospital, didn't you? What happened at Beacon is in the past. You need to forget it. You sound just like Dude, after what you did to uh, Joseph and all those other innocent people? But he didn't have answers. You do. Oh, God. About Mobius. Mobius? Oh boy. I'm here because of this. <laughs> Where did you get this? Damn, we've been packing ammo this whole uh, uh, some fire some uh some heat this whole time. Lily is dead! I read the police report! I was at her funeral! We can rewrite history if we want to. Staging a we death might, death write it. Why would I come out of the shadows just to lie to you? Lily is alive. And she's with us. But she's in danger. Kidman, you better be fucking telling the truth. Save her? Save her? What have you done to her? Get your hands off me. He did warn him. Get his hands off of him. Oh, God. Did you just pull a Resident Evil right there? I mean, Grant, the game has been made by... We don't have time for this bullshit. We need you. Lily needs you. That dude's over there all aching pain because he's got his ass kicked earlier. I mean, granted, this game has been made by the same people who made Resident Evil, but I just thought it'd be a good joke for me to say that right there. Sebastian? You're awake. Good. Yeah. Great. Where are we? You're in one of our oh, I always love this part from the last game. You can just flip around and do some funny, weird things. Be careful about what you say. You don't know how powerful they are. Right. So powerful they have to kidnap a washed-up ex-cop to help them. <laughs> At least your terrible sense of humor is still intact. Enough of this bullshit. Where's Lily? Patience. All your answers are right here. Oh, no. The Beacon Mental Hospital incident was an unfortunate setback. But we used the knowledge gained to build a new and vastly improved STEM system. Not this again, dude! What does this have to do with my daughter? Imagine it. Millions of minds connected together. Happiness for one. Is happiness for all true this machine but. this miracle will allow our species to achieve greatness we needed to start with a mind that was pure and clean enough to support thousands of personalities what of an innocent child are you guys fucking kidding me you're so desperate to promote your uh, you do your shit really to that machine <laughs> Your daughter is quite special. The most stable core candidate we've ever tested. Thanks to her, the new STEM has been a smashing success. Until recently. What the fuck did you do recently? A little over a week ago, Lily vanished. Just stopped sending signals. Then the STEM environment began to collapse. We thought it was just a technical glitch, an easy fix, so we sent a team of Mobius agents inside. But then we lost contact with them, and STEM went dark. You gotta be fucking dark. I am providing you an opportunity. Not only to see your daughter again, but 
to save her life. Something you thought you failed to do before. You guys can go fucking suck a fucking dick. Really? You guys are gonna use the innocent child for your shit right here? It's your choice. Here we go again. Good luck, Sebastian. And please, try to cooperate with any team members you might find in there. I know you don't trust us, but they have the same goals as you do. Sure they do. Find by myself. Just remember to call me the moment you find Lily, so that we can begin the extraction process. I'll be out here for you. And someone else will be in there for you. Someone else? Are you ready? What did she mean by someone else? Are we gonna see Leslie? Two, one. Here we go, guys. Back at it again. Just when we thought we were done with this place once and for all, we gotta come right back in here again. We thought this nightmare was over, but nope, the nightmare is back on. Bro, you need a shave. That's kind of hot. That's, that kind of looks like how my face looks when I need to shave. <laughs> the Evil Within 2. Ooh, we got a camera angle. Nice. Is this... Where am I? Oh. Lily? Daddy! Oh no. I'm coming, Lily! I know it's hard to accept, Myra. She's gone. Our little girl is gone. No. I'll never accept it. You won't help me. I'll find out the truth on my own. What the oh, hell no. is this place? Is that, was that the Beacon Hospital? We've got a call. Oh yeah, dude. Beacon Hospital. That brings back so many memories. Oh, it's a walkie-talkie. Huh? Yes, this is Christian. Your room. It's a safe zone that was formed from your own memories. 
My memories, huh? If that's the case, then where are my wife and child? This place looks like my old office at Crimson City PD. It was your self-conscious that built it. You should ask yourself that question. That is true. Let's get down to business. We sent some information into your room. Do you see anything unfamiliar? Kitty! Hi, Kitty. I'm more of a dog person. I prefer dogs more than cats, but I do like cats. I remember owning a cat. Hi, Kitty. Hi, Kitty. Slide projector. Where did my memory dig this up? That's a good question. Elementary school. Slide projector. Put go to slide. Okay. Well, you don't want to stay up with me, Kitty? Really? Come on, Kitty. Why are you so mean? Kidman, you there? Always. You wouldn't have told me about Lily if your damn machine didn't go on the fritz. I would have spent the rest of my life mourning her and you wouldn't have cared. I cared, but I couldn't say anything. They would have killed me. I'm not sure I believe you. Why would I lie about that? To manipulate me. To get me to perform like a good little soldier. You've lied to me before. Our whole friendship was built on a lie. Okay, I get it. And I don't blame you for feeling that way. You'll never know how I feel until you've lost your family. I never had a family to lose. Just two people who brought me into this world and treated me like a burden instead of a daughter. Better to have loved and lost? Is that what you're saying? Maybe. At least you had people who cared about you. Point taken. Okay, interesting. We'll have to look for more. Oh, hey! Brain juice! Thank you, kitty. Thanks, kitty. What is the cat's name? Does the cat have a name? I do know the cat came from the DLC, which is something I never got a chance to play at the time. And, I, and like I said before, I do plan on eventually playing the DLC. I just haven't got around a chance to do so yet. There are photos of a bunch of Mobius agents here. Your lost team, I assume. That's them. Let us know if you locate any of them. You're our only line of communication into STEM. They're stuck in Union and searching for Lily, too. Union? This STEM environment was designed to look and feel like a small town called Union. Great. So your experts need rescuing too, huh? If anyone can do it, it's you. Thanks for the vote of confidence, but I'm only here to find Lily. There's more info there. You should check it out before you go. Okay. Lily, your team, and now me. We're all stuck inside STEM. I Are we seriously in Chapter 2 already? Pods and wake them up. It doesn't work that way. Without a core, we're totally locked out of the system. To forcibly remove anyone from STEM at this point would kill them and leave their consciousness trapped inside there. Great. Mobius has got some stellar backup plans. Stating the obvious isn't going to speed things along. You need to find Lily. Otherwise she, you, and everyone else inside is going to die. Damn. Baker, team leader. He's the guy I should try to find first. Probably. Harrison, combat specialist, huh? Hopefully he can take care of himself. Okay. Sykes. A tech, but at least he has some small arms training. O'Neill. They must not have been expecting trouble if they sent in all these technicians. And one more person, right? Come on, come on. That, no. Come on, let me... <sighs> Motherfucker, there you go. Psychology and surveillance. This one could be cagey. Come on, 
Now what about... Oh, hey, hey, hey. Can I read that? Can I read? I'm not try-harding trying to get this right here. Union, huh? Looks like any town USA. It was designed that way to keep the test subjects calm and relaxed. Calm and relaxed. The exact opposite of Beacon. What happened to Beacon was beyond our control. It doesn't seem like you've got much control this time either. Look, I don't know what you're going to encounter in there. If you need information, I'd suggest you try talking to some of the locals. You know, canvas the area. Just like you taught me back at KCPD. You were never a real detective, Kidman. And wow. But let's try to do some detecting anyway, okay? Vicious. Not that I blame him for me like that. Hi, kitty. How you doing, kitty? You are you are kind of cute. Look at that. Ooh, what's this over here? A mirror. Just like Beacon. Should be a way out. Why couldn't my memory just make regular doors? <laughs> Save terminals. Okay. So this is where we save our game. Hi, Kitty. How are you? Goodbye. Have a good one, Kitty. Yep, I definitely remember the mirrors from last game. Here we go again. Into the looking glass. Yep. That... You put that. You said that exactly spot on perfectly right there. I can't believe we're in chapter two already. This game didn't feel as impactful as chapter one, the first game, at least in my opinion, at least. Lily! I believe her name was Mary, was it? Lily, what's wrong? Oh wow, bro, you had some dirty hands, didn't you? So this is a flashback, obviously. It's okay. Mom can fix it for you. She can fix anything. <laughs> she does look really cute, I must say. Oh wow. Sebastian? What's wrong? Are you alright? Now, does this take place before or after we went to Beacon? Amazingly smart, beautiful wife. Why wouldn't I be alright? Come here. Yeah, the, the new voice actor for uh, Sebastian, it is going to take some getting used to, I must say. You've been working too hard. It's making you delirious. Are you sure you're not coming down with something? <sighs> oh, hey. That would have been a nice trip right there. Is this the right place? I hope it's the right place. Alright guys, that's all the time we have right now for today's episode, right for right now at the moment. We'll definitely continue this in the next episode. So with that being said, thank you all again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video, and I'm out. Bye. Peace.